Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this series, we are designing this Apple navigation menu from scratch. And in the previous video, I just gave you an introduction to what we are going to design and how the final project will look. All right, in this video, we will just focus on these navigation menu items over here. So we'll just write the HTML and the CSS to make it look like this. So I have created a project called Apple Nav Menu. And I have this images folder over here. And in that we have all the images that we need. So we have the Apple logo, the bag icon, which is uh, this icon over here. And uh, the close icon, which is this icon when we click on the search button. And then we have the search icon. I'll provide the link of the starter files in the description of this video. So you can just uh, download that. Alright, let's start by creating all the necessary files. First of all, let's create an index.html file. And uh, then we'll create a CSS file. We'll just name it style.css. And we'll also create a JavaScript file. We'll just name it main.js. Alright, let's start with the index.html file. And uh, in VS Code, you have this shortcut where you can just type exclamation and press tab. And you'll have this basic HTML5 boilerplate code. And first of all, let's change this title. So we can see that the title over here is Apple. So let's change it to Apple. And we'll also link our style or CSS file over here. So in the head section, I'll just type link and press tab. And in the href, I'll just type style or CSS. And here in the body, we'll just link our JavaScript file. So I'll just type script, colon src and press tab. And here I'll just type main.js. Now, first of all, let's get the link of the font that we're gonna use. So here I'm in fonts.google.com. It provides free fonts for your websites. Now we're going to use a font that looks kind of similar to this font in the Apple website. So I'm going to use a font called Inter. And this is the font. And we're going to get two styles from here. So let's just add this. So I'll just click on select this style. Let's also select regular. So these are the two styles, light 300 and regular 400. And let's copy this link and add it to our HTML. So here, in the head section, I'll just add the link of the fonts. Right now, let's start by creating a container division to hold everything. So we'll just create a division and we'll give it a class of nav container. And in that, we're going to have all these uh, navigation menu items. So let's create a nav element. So I'll just type nav. And in that, we'll create an unordered list to add all the menu items. So we'll just create an li. And in that, we'll create anchor tags. And for the href, I'll just type hash. And the first menu item is this logo right here. Now we're going to add the logo in the CSS. So let's add a class over here so that we can target it in the CSS. So I'll just type class. And I will just give it a class of link logo. And I will add the image in the CSS. Now let's create another list item. And in that we'll have anchor tag. And uh, we have all these menu items over here. So I'll just quickly add all of these. And then for the last two list items, we have the icons. We'll add that using CSS. So I'll just remove this. And we'll just add some class over here. So I'll just type class equals and we'll just give it a class of link search. And for this one, we will just give it a class of link bag. All right, that's it with the HTML for the nav menu items. So I'll just add a comment over here. So to add a comment, you can just press control and forward slash. And I'll just type end of navigation menu items. And uh, let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension over here called live server. So you can go to extensions and search for live server and just go ahead and install it. And once you install it, you will have this option when you right click over here in the HTML called open with live server. So let's just click on that. And here we can see all the nav menu items are being displayed. Now let's start styling it. So let's go to the CSS file. And first of all, let's add some uh, resetting styles. So I'll just type asterisk and uh, this will target all the elements. So I'll just type margin zero and padding zero and also box sizing of border box. Now this line of code makes your calculation of height and width easier. If you don't know what is uh, box sizing border box, I have a video on that and uh, I'll leave the link in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and check that out. And uh, I think we'll also target the after and the before elements. So I'll just type comma, asterisk, colon, colon, after, and asterisk, colon, colon, before. So now it will target all the elements and set the margin and the padding to zero. So now we can see that we don't have any margin or padding. 
All right, now let's add some styles to the body. So I'll just type body. And uh, here I'll just add font family. And the font that we are using is inter. So we can see the font called inter over here. So let's add that over here. And we'll also add sans serif. And let's set the default font weight to 300. And we will add one more property called overflow y. And we'll set it to scroll. Now we are adding this because if you go back to the Apple website and if you click on the search icon, we can see on the right we still have this uh, scroll bar. It is not scrollable but we still have the scroll bar and it makes the design a little bit more consistent. So that's why we added the overflow Y to scroll. And we can see we have this scroll bar here by default. Alright, now let's go ahead and style the nav container. So we have this uh, container division called nav container let's target that so i'll just type a comment i'll just type desktop nav and we'll just type dot nav container and first of all let's set the background color to rgba 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.8 and let's set the height to 44 pixels and we'll set the z index to 300 so that it'll be above all the other elements and we'll also set the position to fixed. And now since we have set the position to fixed, we can see that it has lost the width. So we have to type left position to zero and uh, top to zero and the right position to zero. Now it has the 100% width. All right, now let's target the nav inside the nav container. So for this nav, we will have a set width of 1000 pixels. So let's type nav container nav and uh, we will set the width to 1000 pixels and uh, we'll set it to the center so i'll just type margin zero for top and bottom and for left and right we'll type auto and now it is in the center so if i just give it a background color we can see that this is the nav element and it is in the center we'll also give it a padding to the left and the right so i'll just type padding zero for top and bottom and uh, for left and right, we'll have 8 pixels of padding. And now let's target the unordered list. So here we can see we have this unordered list. We'll also give it a class. So I'll just type class of desktop nav. And let's style that over here. So I'll just type nav desktop nav. And now we want all these elements to be one next to the other. So we can do that using display of flex. And we can see all the elements are one next to the other. Let me just change the color of the text so that we can see it clearly. So let's target the anchor tags. So I'll just type nav, desktop nav, LIA. And we'll just set the color of the text to white. And while we are still here, let's add some more styles. So I'll just type text decoration to none to get rid of the underlines. And we'll also set the font size to 14 pixels. And we'll set the opacity to 0 0.8. And when we hover over this, we want the opacity to turn back to 1. So let me just add a transition to opacity. And we'll give it 400 milliseconds. And now let's style the hover state. So I'll just type nav, desktop nav, LIA colon hover. And we'll just set the opacity to 1. Now when we hover over this, we can see that we have the opacity set to 1. Right now let's go back to the desktop nav and here we can see that uh, everything is uh, sticking to the left so for that we can use a property called justify content and set it to space between so now we can see that everything is spread across correctly and let's also bring it to the center vertically so i'll just type align items to the center and uh, i think it doesn't have the correct height so let's go back over here to the nav and we just add a height of 100% of the parent and even for the desktop nav we will just add a height of 100% now it is in the center and let's also remove these bullets from here so for that we can just type list style and we'll set it to none now the last thing we will do in this video is add the icons and the logo so let's go back over here to the html and here we can see for this anchor tag we have a class called link logo so let's target that so here I'll just type link logo and let's set the background to URL and I will just type the link of the image. So I'll just type images slash apple logo dot svg and uh, let's set the display to block 
and now let's position it to the center so I'll just type background position and we'll set it to center and uh, let's set the height to 44 pixels and uh, let's also set the background size to let's say 18 pixels and we'll set the width to 20 pixels and now you can see that the logo is being displayed over here but it is being repeated so let's go over here and type background repeat and we'll set it to no repeat and now we can see that we have this apple logo over here i think we can reduce the width a little bit so i'll just set it to 15 pixels and we'll just remove background size from here all right that looks fine now let's go ahead and add the two images over here on the right we have the search image and also the bag image so here we can see we have these classes link search and link bag so i'll just copy this because uh, the CSS is almost the same and uh, here we will type link search and instead of Apple logo we'll just type search icon and uh, let's change some values over here we'll just change the width to 20 pixels and I think we can decrease the background size a little bit so I'll just type background size and we'll set it to 18 pixels now let's add the bag icon so I'll just type link bag and uh, we'll just change this to bag icon and we'll just change some values over here so I'll just have background size and we'll set it to 17 pixels and we'll set the width to some higher value so I think 20 pixels all right that looks all right so now our navigation menus are ready so we can see when we hover over these we have the white color and everything is working all right so that is basically it with this video we have designed the Apple navigation menu items. In the next video, we will design the search box. So when we click on this search icon, we can see we have the search form and also these quick links over here. So this is what we're going to design in the next video. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.